Doctor Strange, if you want a good feel for it, it's a very good movie. It follows the stories. It does a good job. All right, cut. Great job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't do this by myself. It sucks. I hate this. All right, all right. Let's back the camera up. I'll join you. I, I can't do it. I feel... I don't like looking at myself. I'm ugly. <laughs> That's why I'm growing this out. My wife says I can. But um, it follows the story very well. Yeah. Um, was it better than Marvel's animated movie? Ooh. Yeah, a little bit. Not my much, but it was... The animated movie, I see, I love Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. But the movie itself actually shows his origin. It shows what he went through. And it, well, so did the animated movie. It's, yeah. it's, it's really, really good. It's, like, it's one of the few I actually recommend to go see in the theater and not wait for it to come on right? Would you recommend regular screen at the theater or IMAX? IMAX and 3D. It's like I didn't see, get to see in 3D. I had my boy with me. It's like, and it is age appropriate. I took my seven year old to go see it. So you can take kids, but just expect a lot of questions. And I had a lot of questions. So, <laughs> <laughs> but 3D would be amazing. I guess John seen it in 3D. I'm not sure, but IMAX, yes. 3D, yes. See, I've never been to an IMAX movie. Oh, really? Yeah, I, oh, my wife told me what it is exactly, because I've always heard, you know, IMAX is IMAX. I, I never quite understood what's the difference between IMAX and... It's all so isn't cool. it like you kind of sit on your back and it's like yeah, a curved it's, screen? It's awesome. Yeah. It's like that in 3D would be amazing. I would pay <laughs> the 20 bucks to do that. But just the movie itself is is great, and then the two little teasers they have in it, and then it actually connects in with the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the upcoming Infinity War. Nice. So. Um, some people were worried about the Ancient One. I thought she did great. Did great? I thought she did, she was a great Ancient One. Because there were some thoughts that, you know, not only did they make the Ancient One female, but they also made her white. Yeah, I don't understand that whole political correctness stuff with that stuff. That's about the only thing with Mal Mordo, but you know what? They did a good job casting her. Was that Mordo as the villain in it? No, Mordo wasn't no. the villain. Okay. He was actually helping Strange. Oh, okay. He was one of Strange's original teachers. Oh. But, um... Because I think I heard them say that Mordo wasn't going to be in it. No, they said Dormammu wasn't going to be in it. Uh, you know who I always thought would have made a perfect Doctor Strange? If the movie would have came out back in like the 70s, something. Vincent Price? Yes. Yeah. He would have been the perfect Doctor Strange, hands down. He just, he looks like, he looked yeah. like Doctor Strange. Even in Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. With the gray, you know, he looked like Doctor Strange. Yeah. He'd have been a good Strange. I don't know why they didn't cast him in that original. Was yeah. it a TV series yeah, or was it, was it a movie from the seventies? I can't remember. It was I think it was just like a made for TV movie. Okay. Yeah, he would have been. Yeah, but the movie itself is really good. I'm right? actually glad you said his name because I couldn't remember his name at first. Oh, I, I knew who he was. <laughs> I I knew who I wanted to say, but I couldn't quite remember Vincent Price. But yeah, I, I I'm partial psychic, and partially <laughs> insane, so. <laughs> Is there a difference? I'm not sure. <laughs> the voices say otherwise, so. But the two little teasers they have, the mid credits and in, at the end of credits, are great. And it's one of the few that follow this the comic very, very well. Not Do we sp- need to be on the lookout for anything in particular in the movie? If you're a strange fan, you'll you'll see them, but I don't want to spoil anything in the movie. Okay. Any cameos from other Marvel heroes or? I don't want to spoil anything in the movie. <laughs> Stan Lee's in it. Well, of course, Stan Lee's in every Marvel movie, even if it's Fox movies. <laughs> um, Who's announcer in Deadpool? Yeah, the stage announcer, <laughs> which I found him I loved. <laughs> He played Hugh Hefner in Iron Man 1. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then a senator in the next one. <laughs> and 
<laughs> and Captain America Civil War, he played a FedEx driver. Yeah. Is there a Tony Stank here? Stank. <laughs> Put some stank on it. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know, guys. Do you like having Billy as a, one of the hosts of the show? Probably not. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed having you here. That's because I'm eye level. <laughs> and I mean the camera is a little crooked. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got a good on on screen personality. You know? yeah. it, I just don't like cameras. I really don't. We'll, we'll put a we'll we'll cover your eyes so you can't see. <laughs> yeah. So um, hopefully maybe next time uh, he and John will be up here together, and I can. Be behind the camera like I've been wanting to just throw popcorn at us. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, be like uh, Comic Book Girl 19. She has that robot and oh. someone off camera. That <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like Billy being a host today. Uh, give us a thumbs down if you uh, would rather see me and John up here still. Or your, your neck might hurt a little bit because... Looking on your screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, whenever John's here, I have to kind of aim the camera back a little bit so it's <laughs> harder to hear us because huh? it's hard to get both of us on screen at the same I'm going to get him a wooden box to stand there. Don't, don't you have a crate around here somewhere? <laughs> I don't get him a stool. So yeah. he, He's always complaining saying that he wants to be able to sit down. Get him a bar stool. Yeah, get him. I mean, he wasn't. I thought he was sitting down the whole time. Oh. <laughs> Short jokes, they're fun. <laughs> For Christmas, I know what I'm going to get him. A, a pair of green shoes and a elf hat. Well, that, that too. <laughs> a box of Lucky Charms. And then we can all be at Chase after. <laughs> that are always after new Lucky Charms. <laughs>